Gang, let's start talking about movies. Let's start talking about movies. Uh, let me see what we got. Let's do what should we? Well, since we talked about uh, Dirty Dozen, let's do movie review of Dirty Dozen. Let's talk about the Dirty Dozen. Let me give you the. Oops, I don't want to open this. Why am I opening that? Let me give you. Where's Dirty Dozen? I opened up the imdb page form so dirty dozen came out in 1967 directed by robert Ald aldrich okay writers nun Ali johnson lucas heller m e nathanson and stars a whole cast lee marvin ernest bergnine charles bronson and a whole bunch of other people okay um so that's the lowdown of uh the dirty dozen Okay, that's the lowdown of the Dirty Dozen, uh, and I don't know how many times I've seen this movie now. I've seen this movie multiple times. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, was Lee Marvin uh, drunk during filming? <laughs> I don't know. Was he? <laughs> Full time floor is high. Uh, I'm at dinner with colleagues. Wish you all a nice stream. Awesome. Thank you very much, Full Time Floors. Uh, sorry you can't make us uh, make the, the the review discussion and stuff like this um, but it's uh, it's gonna be fun <laughs> so far it's been great my first watch elder God says my first watch was 1985 at school at school they showed you this eh wow 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 my my first watch of this was in the 19 probably late 70s and 80s at least uh, but it might have been because I'm a little older than you, Elder Goss, so it might have been late 70s when I was really, really young, right? Um, it's a classic. It's a classic war movie, nice war movie, okay? It's not as dark as uh, some of the other war movies from that period, right? Like, this movie, uh, for me, anyway, I, I compare it to uh, Guns of Navarone, but I like Guns of Navarone more. Or the Bridge on the River Kwai. I prefer Bridge on the River Kwai more. Um, and Bridge of R River Kwai is way darker than this. So out of Guns of Navarone and Bridge of River Kwai, um, this is the lightest one, the Dirty Dozen. And it's been copied multiple times. Uh, like tribute has been paid to the Dirty Dozen. Um, a lot of Asian movies have paid tribute to them. Dancing Vigil, nice war movie. Yeah, nice war movie. It's uh, simplistic by a long shot but it one of the things i i noticed personally about this uh the great escape the great escape is way better the great escape is amazing amazing the great escape is way above this way above this this is a great movie but the great escape is something else right but one of the things i noticed with the dirty dozen the, just watching it was a full metal jacket was sort of took the same layout of the dirty dozen to make the movie because with full metal jacket and the dirty dozen you take these people and you show them through you know half the movie is basically them training and learning to work together and stuff like this uh and then it gets into the uh their mission i guess right cheryl that's one of my all-time favorites uh dirty dozen hat has a great uh redemption vibe yeah dirty dozen is again is very i found it light like extremely light right um the drilling that you know the, the, the drills sergeant the um uh, the way they were going through it uh was pretty cool it wasn't uh, nowhere near as dark as like the great escape like the great escape the uh I don't want to give any spoilers away, but the mound where they're transferring some of the POWs out with the two leaders when they're smoking a cigarette, that's a pretty powerful scene. That's a pretty powerful scene, right? That's a pretty powerful scene. Uh, was there anything as powerful in the Dirty Dozen? Like, what would, what would, what would a very powerful scene in the Dirty Dozen be? Um, Dylan Anderson on censor to wow first ever 
<laughs> first ever time to catch a Chicho live stream. Been listening to you a while, though. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Dolan, welcome to our live stream on Sensor 2. Cheryl, learning what they all did to get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the most powerful scenes was the big guy. Uh, by the way, gang, this is going to contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen these movies, if you want to watch them, probably watch this uh, video on demand afterwards, right? Uh, Cheryl, one of the powerful scenes was when the big guy was being confronted by Lee Marvin saying, come on, big guy, fight me, attack me. Come on, big guy. He kept on pushing him, kept on pushing him, kept on pushing him. That to me was uh, was powerful. That to me was probably the most powerful scene. Uh, Cheryl, 100%. Yeah, yeah. That to me was extremely powerful, right? Elgoth felt sorry for uh, Jefferson getting hand, uh, hanged for killing uh, to avoid being hanged. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And then leave Marvin. One of the things that happened uh, with uh, Charles Bronson, I think, was the person where um, he ended up shooting a deserter or something like this. And Lee Marvin said, you know what your mistake was? Oh, I'm paraphrasing. It wasn't that you killed the guy for deserting or almost causing the whole, you know, troop to be, to die. His mistake was being caught doing it in front of other people uh that was pretty pretty important too i think dancing vigil i read lee marvin said that the scene was unrealistic it was really uh, i thought it was pretty good i thought it was pretty good with the with the big guy that was actually one of the scenes that was probably the most realistic to me elder god Yes, shooting a deserter who was running with the supplies. At least he survived. At least they. Sur at least they. Uh, he survived. Yeah, and his he saved a lot of other, of his other troops, right? Uh, but again, Lee Marvin stated it wasn't it, the mistake. wasn't that he shot him. The mistake was that he got caught, right? Oh my God, he said that. At least he survived. Oh, Lee Marvin said said that okay 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 i can't remember that one uh the, the interaction actually between lee marvin and all the players was really good all the all the inmates was fantastic i really enjoyed that as well the last supper the last supper was awesome the last supper was awesome <laughs> yeah the last supper was awesome <laughs> the last supper was awesome right there was a lot of symbolism in the movie there was but it wasn't as heavy as dark as it could have been or i mean i i guess it wasn't as artistic uh as some of the other uh war movies some of them from that period um uh, that really build the mood up higher and higher right uh but i really liked it i, I liked the dirty dozen i will definitely watch it again at some point in my life all right, uh, but Cheryl brought out uh, the Great Escape. I think I'd like to watch that again. All the God, all lined up like Jesus and his disciples. Funny that Maggot was in Judas' place. Yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. And Maggot is uh, what do you call it? The, the bald guy. Um, Co Co not Kojak. Is it Kojak? <laughs> Nagushka, salutations. Hope you're doing well. It is Kojak, isn't it? Uh, was it Kojak? He played a he played a really good role. A total rapist that uh, Tali Savalas, Tali Savalas, Tali Savalas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the uh, and then he 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 so called found God and he was God's sword. I guess he was he was pretending to be that and him at the end going go doing what he does doing what his character was supposed to do right uh, just chaos religious maniac and racist religious maniac and racist yeah and it was the black guy that killed him i think wasn't it it was the black guy that killed him um so it was pretty good he was the uh he was the best uh ernest stavaro blowfed 
He played Kojak, Kojak, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Kojak, Kojak, that's right. That's right. PK, afternoon Chicho, hope all is well on SensorTube. Speaking of movies, I will always recommend Taxi Driver to anyone who hasn't seen it. Absolutely amazing character study and overall movie. Cheers, everyone, 100%. And I think we had to, Taxi Driver, we ended up watching it in one of our previous movie streams, right? Uh, Alda got, uh, quote, I only do what I'm called to do. Yeah. Yeah, he did a good creep, uh, like uh, Cheryl says, creeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very creepy because he believed his, his own bullshit, right? Uh, Aldegar, Jefferson shot him to protect the mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he came out of the room and went, what the hell are you doing? And the guy's like, <laughs> Tali Savalas is, he, he, he should have, I don't remember him in, this, this is the only creepy movie I remember him in. Uh, Elder God, I love the mission rhyme. How so? What do you mean the mission rhyme? The mission rhyme? I don't know what that refers to. And the Daffy, Daffy Duck reference. Slayer Darth, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. One to twelve. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Counting out. Counting out. Darth Slayer. I haven't seen the dirty dozen. Uh, Darth Slayer. It's a good movie. It's a good, good, uh, historical movie. Classic war movie. Classic, but not history in relation to what really happened in the war. I guess. Uh, but history in terms of how it was documented in Hollywood. Hollywood films today are boring. Uh, majority, because they're putting out a lot of garbage, a lot of propaganda. Like, they had a lot of propaganda in the past, but now 95% of what's coming out is propaganda. Uh, t -t 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 I'm currently watching Casablanca. What a great movie. What a great movie. Really and ingrid bergman oof wow wow what a woman <laughs> right yeah that's a great movie casablanca is an amazing movie way darker than this this dirty dozen light side very light very light even though there's a lot of murder and killing and stuff like this it's yeah i don't know i don't know if i would consider propaganda but there was a lot of propaganda in it slayer that like i didn't know that italy briefly occupied ethiopia i i wouldn't have known uh at, about that without casablanca they tried to occupy ethiopia ethiopia but was never colonized i think it's the only country that only african country that was never colonized Nagushka, last movie I watched was The Postman. The Italian one uh, had government propaganda, but it was somewhat uh, entertaining. Or The Postman, the American one with, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the water movie. Why are there 12? Well, some people would say it was sort of a tribute to uh, biblical reference, I guess, right? Slayer Darth, I like watching those sorts of films that teach you about history and not in a skewed way. Yeah, very difficult to find the really good ones. Elder God, down to the roadblock, we've just begun. The guards are through, the major's men are on a spree. Major and Vladis Law go through the door, Pinky stays out in the drive, the major gives the rope a fix uh Vladislaw throws the hook to heaven uh Jimin, jimmy nez uh has got a date the other guy go up the line sawyer and glippin are in the pen posey guards point five and seven glassaw and the major go down um to delve Slayer Darth. Serbia was also never colonized. Serbia was never colonized. Uh, not Serbia. 
Liberia. Liberia was never colonized? Hmm. Dancy Mitchell, there was a real filthy 13. Slayer Death. I just think America sent their free blacks there. Yeah. Yeah. It be they, they, their flag is very much reminiscent of uh, American flag, mimic of it really. Real fringe. Hello, Chicho on Rumble from Calgary. Salutations, real fringe. Hope you're staying warm in Calgary. It's getting cold in BC. Oh God, I hate five hundred. No, uh, Slayer Darth. I don't understand people who. Uh, idolize 80s hollywood films they almost always never hold up ah there's some that really do hold up like blade runner fantastic movie right dune was a great movie elder guys elder god it's based on a real group who were prisoners and made up a, an assassination team is it is it based on it you could say we had a huge army based on this with the wagner group in russia right felix the cat on sensor tube chicho hey man bonus tardes bonus tardes bonus yeah bonus tardes <laughs> it's not bonus notch notches yet just found it i like i like try to watch blood sport yeah but stuff like that but there's some amazing movies that came out in the 80s uh, Full Metal Jacket, I think, was in the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Apocalypse Now was 79, I think. Icono. It is like Ocean Eleven. You put 10 famous guys. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. French. Yes, sir. Getting gold in Alberta, Calgary. I'm thinking of stereotype films like uh, but yeah yeah Slayer Darth some of the stereotype films are just pure crap right mindless 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 fuck and associate so you know a lot about this uh, this movie all god yeah I should have put my posters over here so the chat appears better you know what I'm gonna move the chat to the other side gang so anybody uh, bum, ba -da -dum, bum. chat uh, let's do this let's move this guy so we're not overlapping with the uh, okay I'm gonna move these ah oh, no I'm gonna keep everything the same if you can b believe wiki I don't know I don't believe wiki too much and gang do not forget do not forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies as he said Julian Assange has stated if wars can be started by lies peace can be started with the truth right because wars aren't like this not the not the brutality of it right slayer that i actually uh looked into this at one point and apparently it's because of a lot of american movie theaters moved to multiplex setup so because they had to produce more films uh this led to a bunch of cheap knockoffs oh really didn't know that finished dude salutations on twitch hope you're doing well hey chicho and chad hope they can uh they the day treating you well thank you very much talking movies is always good talking movies is always good oh my god the, the dirty doesn't inspire suicide squad ah that makes sense suicide suicide squad yeah 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 for sure it would it would slayer darth i'm trying to watch more classic films yeah there's a lot, some amazing classic films out there especially black and white especially black and white elder god and the fake general scene got uh, donald sutherland his major break in mash and gave uh, gave us jack but uh Bo buyer boyer really that scene was fantastic the guy comes up he says who wants to be a general and they take the guy who's the dumbest like the, the analogy there was phenomenal out of 12 men they picked the dumbest mofo to be the general and he goes through and does his does his routine donald sullen was fantastic in it too 
Slayer that I am well and hope you are too. I also got Chicho. Remember, I'm an army brat, an ex veteran, so I love war movies. I bet, man. I bet. <laughs> For me, I've watched a lot of war movies. It's one of the genres I've watched a lot of. A lot. Because I was fascinated with war, right? Especially in regards to board games and stuff like this. Dancing Vigils, the 80s gave gave us samurai cop i don't remember that <laughs> oh my god just act dumb and walk up and down the ranks yeah just talk fucking random nonsense right crazy crazy slayer that can you be an ex-veteran to ta to elder god i thought being a veteran implied you were ex-army you could be just mercenary i guess gang what are your ratings for dirty dozen i give dirty dozen like a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten that would be my rating for dirty dozen okay give us your rating gang give us your rating and then we'll move on to the next one nagushka me too it's a seven elder god gives it a six out of ten addictive slayer death darth oh interesting so you weren't infantry Alagar. Oh, share us a six out of ten as well just a cast alone for me kicks it above six right because it was sort of an all all-star cast and some of the scenes were really good when the general was going in from cell to cell to talk, not the general, Lee Marvin going in to talk to people from cell to cell was really good. Cheryl, seven, seven if only in war genre. Yeah, I, I agree. As a, as a war genre, I would give this a seven. Right? General overall, yeah, I would kick it down to a six probably. So I sort of try to... Uh, link it up to the genre as you'll find out with cocaine bear <laughs> slayer dart since i haven't seen this film yet i awarded x out of 10 haha undefined dancing visual says 7.5 nice 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 Arrgh. <laughs> all the god comes in gang should we do our next movie? We're basically saying Dirty Dozen is probably around 6.5 average, right? X is 10 in Roman numerals. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> next, so I can get rid of it. You want Cocaine Bear next? Okay. All we got is saying we got to review Cocaine Bear next. I'm taking Dirty Dozen down. Ch -ch -ch.